Welcome to part one of my top 20 tips for first time visitors to Disneyland Paris. Booking your tickets in advance is going to be way cheaper than if you just turn up on the day and book a day ticket. The Disneyland Paris website is super easy to navigate to so book as far in advance as you can. Book for at least two days. There are two parks to Disneyland Paris, the main Disney park and Walt Disney Studios. And one day just isn't quite enough to cover both parks anymore. With the opening of the Avengers Campus as well within the Disney Studios, definitely consider booking two days so that you can fit it all in. The best time to book would be outside of UK and European school holidays. These dates do tend to be a lot quieter than school holidays, so you're gonna reduce your queues and there won't be so many people around, so try and book outside of holidays if you can. Check which rides are gonna be closed for refurb or which shows are gonna be closed for a certain amount of time before you book. It just saves all disappointment before you get there and you find out that a particular ride that you wanna go on is closed or a show is shut for a couple of months. Check beforehand. The Disneyland Paris app is really good for that and it will show you what is closed and for how long. If you do find these videos useful, please consider subscribing for more hints, tips, and reviews on Disneyland Paris. Create yourself a rough plan or a bucket list. It can comprise of list of snacks that you want to do, the rides that you want to tick off, the shows that you want to see, meet and greets that you'd love to do. Disney holidays can be overwhelming. There is so much to do and it is so spread out. So plan your time if you can and give yourselves that little bit of a head start. Book your restaurant reservations in advance. If you are staying on Disney property, and we stayed in the Art of Marvel Hotel last May, we were able to book 60 days out according to the app, but we happened to just log in the day before and snagged those restaurant bookings that we wanted to book. The really popular restaurants such as Captain Jack's and Remy's restaurant do book up fast. And if you do wanna rock up on the day, just brace yourselves for a little bit of disappointment because reservations go fast and they are fully booked. However, sometimes if you do just go to a restaurant that you want to go to, they may have a cancellation. So it is always worth checking on the day. But also while you're there, just keep checking on the app. You'll never know if a cancellation comes up and you can snag that last minute restaurant reservation that you've been dying to do. Watch vlogs of other people's experiences at Disneyland Paris and read loads of blogs. You will pick up loads of handy hints and tips. Download the official Disneyland Paris app in advance. The app updates in real time and just give yourself time to have a look at it, go through it. I tend to look at it every now and again just to see what the ride times are while I'm not in the park, a little bit sad I know, but just get used to the app, how it feels, how it works. So while you're there, you'll be an absolute ace at using it. Take regular breaks. Don't feel like you need to go at it at 100 miles an hour from when park opens to a park closes. You will burn out after that first day. Take breaks. Don't be in a rush to get on things and your legs and feet will thank you at the end of the day. Hire a stroller or take one with you if you're going with young children. When we went in May last year, air girls had been out of their stroller for about a year and after half a day in the park, it was constant moaning and we were having to carry them. So definitely hire a stroller. Your kids are not gonna be the only ones using them and if I could have used one, I definitely would. So I hope you found part one and part two of these videos useful and I'll see you again soon.